Thank you, Rachel. This past Monday, the George Jenkins High School Dreammaker Band performed in the Magic Music Days Festival at Walt Disney World. They had a fantastic performance and are invited back next year. Attention all Mu'afa Theta members, there will be a meeting next Monday, February 4th. Please make sure to attend. Behind me is the Joseph Reynolds Dormitory, and as you've probably guessed by now, this campus is very rich in history. Florida Southern College has been a fixture in Lakeland since 1883 when it was first originated. Designed by world-renowned architect Frank Lloyd Wright, the campus is widely considered to be one of the foremost architectural sites in the world. The George Jenkins High School FFA Citrus judging team went up against 44 other Florida high schools from around the state last week. The contest was held at Florida Southern College here in Lakeland. The teams had to identify 37 varieties of fruit, 26 weeds, 36 insects, and 31 deficiencies, disorders, and diseases, along with a written test. The George Jenkins High School team placed second in the state in this very difficult contest. Congratulations. The National Honor Society is collecting items for the Fill-A-Bucket Project. Decorated buckets will be given with donated items and given to the homeless children in Polk County for Christmas. Items needed include new shampoo or conditioner, bath soap, deodorant, toothbrush and toothpaste, brushes and combs, towels and washcloths, children's books, and small stuffed animals. If you would like to contribute any item, please drop them off in the College and Career Center by Friday. The state of Florida requires that all first-time drivers attend a drug alcohol traffic awareness course to obtain their driver's license. Point Free Traffic School will be holding classes here at school starting November 15th in Portable 16 from 2.30 until 6.30. Visit guidance for a registration form. Confused about choosing a career? Then the ASVAB, Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test, is the right choice for you. This test not only determines what you are good at, but will match you with careers that are best suited for your aptitude and interest. This test is for juniors and seniors. Space for sophomores is on a first-come, first-served basis. The test is free and will be given here at George Jenkins Friday, November 16th. Sign up in college and career by November 13th. Now continuing with our new mini-series highlighting some of the teachers at George Jenkins, here's Marissa Senzamichi with a new teacher spotlight. Thanks, Allie. Jenkins Casino Night Prom is on April 19th at the Disney Hilton. To prepare for this event, the junior class is sponsoring the Prom Fashion Show on February 29th during seventh period to model fine tuxedos from Sakino's formal wear, as well as beautiful evening gowns from Robin Lynn's dress shop. A special prom ticket price of $25 will be available to members at the Prom Fashion Show only. Sales will commence again in mid-March. The Academy of Design and Technology will be starting in the fall of 2008. If you're interested in working with the newest technology, building websites, or working with computer graphics, please consider the Academy. Visit Ms. Solis in room 4224 if you have any questions. Well, Jenkins, the high-definition movie format war is over, and the winner is Blu-ray Disc. Here's ENN's Ryan Elliott with a technology look. Attention students in need of community service. If you are interested in assisting in a 10-week remediation session for grades kindergarten through second at Sykes Elementary, please stop by Ms. Canning's room and sign up. Attention students, hoodies are now on sale for $22 during all three odd day lunches or in Ms. Vanell's room, room 4220, after school. It's almost New Year's and it's time to make those New Year's resolutions. And one of the most popular resolutions is to stay physically fit. The George Jenkins High School Weightlifting Club could do just that for you. Thank you, Rachel. Sometime during the night of Sunday, October 21st, someone slashed the tires of eight cars in the Charloma subdivision. Crime Stoppers is offering a $200 cash reward for information leading to an arrest. If you have any information that can help, call 1-800-226-TIPS and remain anonymous. Attention seniors, if you are interested in applying to become a Jenkins nominee for this year's Silver Garland Award, you must pick up the preliminary application in college and career. If you have or are now completing a community service project or have a substantial number of community service hours that are project-based, please see Ms. Tyre in college and career. We'll be right back after these messages. 
The Munn Park tree lighting ceremony took place this past Tuesday, where the GGHS concert chorus performed. Golden Harmony sang and danced to a variety of Christmas songs, and Diamond Dozen put their own twist on a few classic carols. The night was topped off when the annual lighting of the Christmas tree took place for the Lights for Life program. Each light on the tree stood for a donation made by a family or company. The Multicultural Club is sponsoring a candy cane sale with holiday messages starting this Wednesday during lunchtime in the food court. Make someone's day special by giving them a nice holiday message with candy. Attention students in need of community service. If you are interested in assisting in a 10-week remediation session for grades kindergarten through second at Sykes Elementary, please stop by Ms. Canning's room and sign up. I think we've all heard of the term therapy in one form or another, but have you ever heard of writing for therapy? Ian and reporter David Ward takes a look into this interesting form of rehabilitation aimed at helping young people. Thank you, Rachel. The National Honor Society is collecting items for the Fill a Bucket project. Any donated item will be placed into a decorated bucket and given to the homeless children in Polk County for Christmas. Any item that can help hygiene is greatly needed. To donate any item, please stop by the College and Career Center by the end of the day today. Students, don't miss out on signing up for FBLA. Any student who signs up during this week will be eligible to receive lots of goodies, including Outback, Chick-fil-A, and movie gift certificates. To sign up, see any business teacher or FBLA member as soon as possible. Whether you're a junior or a senior, filling out a college application is a central part of your high school career. Here's ENN's Alex Yarborough with more information on just how to sign these dreaded applications. Thank you, Rachel. ENN would like to wish the girls' varsity soccer team good luck tonight in Fort Lauderdale for the first game of the state championships. We will, of course, have coverage of the event next week, so keep your television on Channel 2 for further updates. It's that time again. BCE OJT students, make sure that your timesheets and evaluation sheets are ready to turn into Ms. Rollins this Monday, February 11th. No excuses. All AP Art History students and Humanities students who are going to Europe this spring break, please have the forms that were handed out at the meeting into Mr. Townley as soon as possible. Please stop by room 3212 if you have any questions. Yesterday was the second annual George Jenkins High School Career Expo. Ian and reporter David Ward attended the expo for an inside look. Jenkins Spirit shirts and junior class t-shirts are on sale in Ms. Bunnell's room, room 4220, for $10 each. Hurry, supplies are limited. The Red Ribbon Run will be held on Saturday, October 13th at 8 a.m. If you would like to run in this race, please stop by room 4226 and pick up the informational letter and registration form. The PSAT test will be given on Wednesday, October 17th at George Jenkins. Juniors must pre-register by September 21st in room 1151. The test fee is $15. National Honor Society members are required to pick up the blue informational packet in college and career by this afternoon. Those who fail to get the packet will forfeit the service point. The state of Florida requires that all first-time drivers attend a drug alcohol traffic awareness course to obtain their driver's license. Point Free Traffic School will be holding classes here on October 18th from 2.30 until 6.30 in Portable 16. Visit the guidance office for a registration form. Attention seniors, if you are interested in applying to become a Jenkins nominee for this year's Silver Garland Award, you must pick up the preliminary application in college and career. If you have or are now completing a community service project or have a substantial number of community service hours that are project-based, please see Ms. Tyre in college and career. Held on Tuesday night, the Teacher of the Year banquet turned out to be a tremendous success. ENN sent Aaron Carpenter to cover this exalted celebration.